the use of colour in blocks in landscape CAD drawings can be a little tricky. This hedge through here has been created by using a block, it's called Euclid Edge Number 2, and you may notice that if we zoom in a little, inside the block, each little blob has different colour associated with it. If we take that block symbol and we copy it and pop it up there, you'll notice that it did have a frame around it. That frame is, a, is on a layer called construction. And if we now explode that block and we select individual elements within the block, can you see that each has colour set explicitly? That one is colour 66. This one here is colour 52 and so on. So inside the block symbol, the explode command breaks it up. Inside the block symbol, these elements have been have had their colour set. So no matter what you do, even if we move that group of symbols to a layer which has got some colour associated with it, here's a layer called green. If we we associate, we've moved those symbols now to layer green. They still say, stay the same colour. They've had their colour set explicitly. We have to change the properties of all of those so that they inherit colour by the layer that they are on. So now I've changed it to colour by layer and the layer that they're on has colour associated with it and now they all appear green. So they're on a layer called double A green, and you can see we've associated the color green with that layer. You can also, within a block, associate different line thicknesses to elements in the block. So using color can be a little tricky. Uh, it depends very much on how the block has been made. The majority of our garden cat and uh, GCAD plus symbols have colour set explicitly so that no matter what layer you put them in on, they'll always give you the same result. So I hope that helps in understanding the use of colour in uh, landscape CAD drawings.